Tuesday, 28th December, 2021. Welcome to Evening Prayer in this the first week after Christmas Day. God is love. This is how He showed His love among us. He sent His only Son into the world that we have life through Him. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be His Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. 
Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honour and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Psalms appointed for today are Psalms 19 and 126. Psalms 19 and 126. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out into all lands, and their message to the ends of the world. In the deep has he set a pavilion for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is, is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. By them also is your servant enlightened, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound, and innocent of a great offence. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 126 
when the Lord restores the fortune of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore your fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with sounds of joy. Those who go out weeping, carry the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of, of the Lord written in the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 54, verses 1 to 13. Isaiah, chapter 54, verses 1 to 13. Sing, O barren one, who did not bear, burst into song and shout, you who have not been in labor, for the children of the desolate woman will be more than the children of her that is married, says the Lord. Enlarge the sight of your tent, and let the curtains of your habitations be stretched out. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. For you will spread out to the right and to the left, and your descendants will possess the nations and will settle the desolate towns. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Do not be discouraged, for you will not suffer disgrace. For you will forget the shame of your youth and the disgrace of your widowhood you will remember no more. For your Maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. The God of the whole earth he is called. For the Lord has called you like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit. Like the wife of a man's youth, when she is cast off, says your God. For a brief moment, I abandon you, but with great compassion, I will gather you. In overflowing wrath for a moment, I hid my face from you, but with everlasting love, I will have compassion on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is like the days of Noah to me, just as I swore that the waters of Noah would never again go over the earth. So I have sworn that I will not be angry with you and will not rebuke you. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. O afflicted one, storm-tossed and not comforted, I am about to set your stones in antimony and lay your foundations with sapphires. I will make your pinnacles of rubies your gates of jewels, and all your walls of precious stones. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the prosperity of your children. 
the word of the lord thanks be to god my soul proclaims the greatness of the lord my spirit rejoices in you o god my savior for you have looked with favor on your lowly servant from this day all generations will call me blessed you the almighty have done great things for me and holy is your name you have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation you have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly you have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty you have come to the help of your servant israel for you have remembered your promise of mercy the promise made to our forebears to abraham and his children forever glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever amen a reading from the word of the lord written in the gospel of mark chapter 10 verses 13 to 16 The Gospel of Mark, chapter ten, verses thirteen to sixteen. People were bringing little children to him, in order that he might touch them. And the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, "Let the children come to me." Do not stop them for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs Truly I tell you whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it And he took them up in his arms laid his hands on them and blessed them The word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations. and the glory of your people Israel glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever amen i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ His only Son, O Lord, He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. O Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial 
and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach your leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Colic for the first Sunday after Christmas Day. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate world. Grant that this light, enkindled in our hearts, may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Colic for Holy Innocence we remember today, O God, the slaughter of the holy innocents of Bethlehem by King Herod. Receive, we pray, into the arms of your mercy all innocent victims, and by your great might frustrate the designs of evil tyrants and establish your rule of justice, love, and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Presence of Christ Come to us, Lord Christ, in your understanding love when all around us seems dark and uncertain, when our faith is low and we cannot feel you near and we find it hard to pray. Come to us then, dear Lord, as you came to your disciples in the darkness hours of the night and let the light of your presence dispel our fears. Renew our trust and bring peace to our hearts for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our parts, and a strength to our life. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. It came upon the midnight clear the glorious song of old from angels